Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bayonetta. Uh, in the last episode, we went through all of the Alfheims, and I also picked up some of the Broken Witch Hearts and Moon Pearls that I missed. Today we're we'll going to be taking on the Lost Chapter, Angel Slayer. Now, Angel Slayer is a very tough chapter. Um, I'm just going to start, because I went back and I kind of got everything I wanted. So here's what I have. Currently, I have the three accessories that I want to use. The only accessories that I really use consistently is the Star of Dineta, Pulley's Butterfly, and the Evil Harvest Rosary. So for right now, we're keeping the Star of Dineta and Pulley's Butterfly on. I'm going to put Dineta Star on that side because I just like it better on that side. I don't know, because that's like the second slot and I usually have to equip at all times, but whatever. As for the weapons, uh, I'm going to be putting... Uh, I'm going to basically have... Where is Kilgore? There it is. I'm basically going to have um, Kolshedra and Shiraba in the hands, and then Kilgore on the feet. Um, once we get later on, it's going to be... I'm going to switch out Durga for Kolshedra uh, in a little bit, but basically the whip and the sword is what I want to use. Now, the way Angel Slayer works is that it is a... Bun it's basically a... Not, not, not like a boss rush, but an enemy rush. A gauntlet, I guess. So, I'll just show you. When you run over here, you basically get trapped over here, and there's just a bunch of angels for you to fight. And I'm not going to be cutting much out, but um, yeah, I'm gonna basically try to. I'm basically gonna try to do my best. Now, uh, there's it's going to basically be largely unedited. Yeah, largely unedited. Um, what you see, what you get. I have to suffer through this, so do you. <laughs> so yeah, that was the very first level. Uh, and there's like 51 stages, so it's going to be largely unedited. unedited. I'm probably not going to be talking too much. We're also fighting in the Daisy outfit because I forgot to switch to something else, so... Yeah, Princess Daisy's taking it on. Uh, yeah. Do I really want to use the Princess Daisy outfit? I might actually switch to something else. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to something else. <laughs> um, but yeah, by and large, it's going to be mostly unedited. I am going to switch... Um, I want to do something that's like normal. I'm gonna do the arc outfit, because I like that one. Um, but yeah, oop, don't mean to save. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be largely unedited. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be quiet, so you can enjoy my commentary. Oh yeah, one thing with the editing that I- I'm not sure if I actually said that, but uh, in order to keep my capture card from having a stroke, I'm gonna be like resetting the uh, thing a little bit. So, yeah, so there might be a few cuts, but otherwise nothing's really- getting lost from it. So yeah. Because, you know, my capture card after an hour of recording, you know, somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour, usually that's when it starts to risk having a stroke, and then everything gets desynced, and it's just, generally speaking, unsalvageable. So yeah. And then also, uh, the Star of Dineta is the only method of regeneration that you can use, because you can't use items. So, you know. Your halo is mine. Let's keep going, I guess. Alright, that was stage two. So far, no damage? That's good. Um, having max magic and max health will definitely help you out, so I recommend going back and finding everything before you take this on. Yeah, 
we have yeah we have some kinships which is my least favorite enemy in the game thankfully these are the only kinships in the entire level so nothing to really worry about here Sometimes I do a lot better than other times, but, you know. Uh, Kilgore definitely recommended. Uh, use anything you're really good with, but Kilgore is definitely very good on the feet because of just the splat damage. You want to be very on tune for the witch time. Also, sometimes they drop angel weapons. Um, this is very useful because I like the, um, the the bow is very useful for this section because it has stinking harmonies and I hate you jerks. Yeah, I want to take this thing out as quickly as I can. Ooh, that was surprisingly easy. I am not to jinx myself, but I'm actually doing all right. Also, one of my favorite things to do is try to kind of do funny poses as you leave, because <laughs> like the light will actually kind of take the shape of Bayonetta's uh, form. So whatever she's doing, we got two beloveds, so these guys can be a pain in the butt. Good thing about the beloved is that they can actually <laughs> is that the beloved like certain angels can take out can actually like uh, do friendly fire on others. Beloveds are one of them. Uh, in this chapter, it's very helpful because some of the arenas are very small, so they can like very easily like take out a bunch of angels. So something definitely to keep in mind. And for some reason, when, um... Yeah, whenever the... Axe... Ooh, jeez. Wow, that was... Jeez, ooh, okay. So one thing you can do is taunt, and that'll restore your health as long as you have the star of Dinata on. Now it's kind of risky to do it on Grace and Glory because they can jump around very quickly, and they can actually really kick your ass if you're not careful. 
However, fortunately, if you taunt them, they do kind of stun, so you do kind of get some extra time in. Okay, that was close. I was trying to do a torture attack, but like they jumped out right at the last second, so I couldn't quite do it as soon as I wanted to, but... Yeah, another thing that's good is you probably want to try to save up your magic as much as you can, but in these early chapters you can expend it a little bit. I think they also give you a little bit of health boosts here and there, but, you know, by and large it's not much, so you want to be careful. This chapter has joys. Yeah, so you want to be very careful. I would recommend trying to take out... I would definitely recommend trying to take out the larger ankles first. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely recommend trying to take out the larger angels because they'll be more pain in the butt, so... Twelve minutes. Alright, good. This is a very long thing. We're still on verse one. You want to keep your distance with these guys. Fortunately, you can... <laughs> Keep your distance with those guys. They're very easy to shoot, especially because they usually group together pretty well. So uh, using Kilgore is very helpful because the Exploding Blast carry Charles with a distance and it will damage all of them at the same time. Now we have the first boss fight of the level. out these guys. Now, the incarnations of Jean will will have the powers of when you fought her. Um, this is when you fought her for the Umber Throne, so technically the first boss fight with her. But, um, so she doesn't really do any of the Wicked Weaves like she does in the later battles, so she's fairly easy. We got a gold medal, so that means we did pretty well. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter what you do. Completing it in and of itself is a terrible, terrible thing, so it's a terrible, terrible challenge. Oh yeah, 
Um, after you defeat that first part, the first verse, the difficulty gets switched to difficult, I think, or hard. So the angels move faster and they deal more damage, so be cautious. So once there's one angel left, then you can start really taunting. These guys are fairly easy to do. Granted, I'm not a huge fan of these guys with the maze, because I find them to be the more, more difficult ones to get the witch time off of properly. I don't know, their timing's just kind of a little weird for me. I mean, fortunately, the slash attack does time a little bit better when they're a little bit faster like this, so it's usually not as bad. a little unfair that he was, uh, underground like that, you know? It starts to get a little bit more on the difficult size side, so just gotta be careful. Okay, the Okay, God. Okay, bro. Yeah, so you want the whip. Okay, bro, how did... These guys are also not easy to, to taunt, and sometimes, I don't know if it's like a glitch or what, but... But like, I don't know, sometimes whenever you taunt, they just, it doesn't recover your health even with the star on. I don't know if that's like a glitch or something, but... Yeah, I, d I don't like the wheel guys. <laughs> Enchants, I think they're called. Oh, more of you guys! I hate harmonies so much, they're just so annoying because they're just flying around and like I'm trying to hit them and then all the other angels are like, I'm in the way! And we are back. Alright. Uh, 
Oh, and then the inspired. I don't like fighting these guys because, um, the arena here is pretty small, so... Oh god! And, like, it's just so difficult to... What's going on? <laughs> I'm losing track of myself. Once I get that kind of thing, it's usually pretty easy. And this should be enough to finish them off. Unfortunately, these guys are pretty hard to taunt, so you really can't. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, I didn't take too much damage. Sometimes that boss gets, oh, that, this arena gets a little, it's too small so the camera doesn't, like, sometimes fights with you, so, like, you know, it, it can go pretty poorly sometimes, but, you know, thankfully it didn't. Oh god, that was a lot faster than I was anticipating. Okay, so I gotta be careful to try and taunt. Uh, so for right now... And this'll be good. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think... Why can't I? Okay, good, good. Okay, I gotta start taunting. Careful when these guys jump and they start going in the middle of the thing, because that's really bad, because they can, like, attack and, like, the jump animation makes them fly, fling themselves over so much. And thankfully the fire guys are pretty easy to dodge, because when they taunt, they usually do the fire vortex thing, which is usually the easiest thing to dodge.
I'm getting very lucky that he's actually continuously doing the Vortex. So yeah, uh, prepare, be prepared to see a lot more of that because I take a lot of damage sometimes and I try to recover all of my health. Because <laughs> the more health you have, the better. That guy can be a bit of a pain in the butt, so watch out for him. Uh, the biggest issue I find is the fact that the camera focuses on him all the time, and then like the smaller angels are, v it's very easy to like forget about them, and like kind of the perspective kind of gets a little warped. So like sometimes it feels like the angels are a little bit further than they actually are, you know. And we've got some ardors, and for some reason when. So he's the only guy left. Thankfully, he's stumbling around, so I get a little bit of taunt time. Getting to the point where Cole Shadow is not super useful. So. Now, there is a glorious. Now, as with everything, um. As with everything, uh, breakdance spam definitely works wonders. However, if you don't want to do that, you can always uh, try to use 
the witch time off of the smaller angels to get it working. Um, that's one thing with any sort of, uh, angel that you can't witch time off of, uh, try to use the smaller angels to get the witch time off. How long are we going? Ten minutes for this set? Okay. Okay, so you have to get... So this is why I want Pulley's Butterfly, because Pulley's Butterfly protects you. <laughs> I hate that fight so much. I hate the fight. I hate John. I hate John. I hate John. Um, but this is actually, I think, probably the second hardest fight, maybe the third, depending on how you want to look at things. Uh, so yeah. Because the thing is, <laughs> having to fight two Johns, it's not fun because they just spam the wicked weaves. And like the thing is, the worst part is, is that whenever you get attacked by two things at once and one thing you can witch time. So for example, uh, a wicked weave. Um, but you get punched too. The, I don't think the game register, the game prioritizes the normal attack first, so you don't get the witch time, which I think is kind of stupid. Um, but yeah, so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the Evil Harvest the Rosary, because, uh, and then also Kulshadra, because in this verse, actually first, okay, because in this verse, um, I start getting Flaming Angels, and then also being able to just get the thing off. Being able to just um, kind of spam taunts while they're...
Okay, so we didn't get full HP off of that, but we did get a lot of it back, so... That's one good thing that you can do, is if you are sort of low on things, on low HP, you can use the Nata Star and uh, the Evil Harvest Rosary at once to kind of get the thing going. Okay, so for right now, I don't think it's going to be super useful, so I'm going to switch back to Police Butterfly. Oh god, no! I didn't mean to do it on that guy! Where would you even come from, bro? Okay, bro, like, the camera was not working with me there. Okay, get out of my face. Yeah, this is one of the things, like, the arena sometimes gets a little too cramped. Okay, bro. Now we can just taunt this guy. Uh, I think either like the Lance guys or these music guys are usually one of the easier ones to taunt off of. Because just the timing is usually pretty easy and they're predictable, especially these these dudes. Up to full health. Uh, I don't like the spike things. Alright, so I think if I'm not mistaken, these are like three braves. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, a PKP combo makes very quick work of these guys. Yeah, very, very easy. Take the scythe. It's also a very good source of halos. Um, but yeah, PKP, very quick work. I'm gonna keep the cool strategy, or not.
All right, yeah. <laughs> this isn't a too difficult one, just want to try and keep your distance as best as you can, so... I'm gonna try and dirt after this. Oh god, that was much faster than I was anticipating. Oh, come on! I was dodging out of that, bro. Okay, get out of my face. Yes, you wanna- you have to fight five of these guys. You want to be careful not to jump too much, because they can basically snatch you out of the air. Oh god, I mean... I want to try to do the fire guy because I think I can usually pop them a little bit more easily. Yeah, because that's another good thing about these guys, these are very easy to taunt because they often kind of slam themselves into walls. Come on, bro, charge at me. Trying to shoot for 20 minute things, so that way it reduces as much as I can. All these halos, because you do get to keep your halos even if you die. Okay. 
I just want to get as much damage off on these dudes as I can, because joys are annoying because they can duplicate. I'm not sure if we ever really saw that in the main game, because so I think I killed them quick enough. Okay, bro. Now, I would not recommend taunting on Joys because they will, if they're angry, they will wind up doing much more damage than you could possibly recover. Okay, so we got two Graciouses and two Gloriouses. Now, honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to... I'm just gonna break dance fan because with the gracious and the glorious, just it's you know it's way too easy to accidentally kill the um, You just want to really, really keep your distance with those dudes. Alright, I'm going to switch back to Shiraba. Okay, 15 minutes. Alright, good. <laughs> I just keep trying to check in and out just so that way it's the right time. Ah, yes, Golem. Check where we are. Okay, so all right, all right. Um, so we have Jean coming up next. So I think what I want to do is I want to put Kolshedra on the front, or Sharaba, and I want to switch off the things because we got. Gracious and Glorious and a Jean, and honestly, I'm not going to lie, I think um, the two Johns is more difficult than this, um, but yeah. Uh, Alright. Because the reason why I want to do this is because before we actually enter the arena, I want to be able to turn on Police Butterfly. And then also using torture attacks against these guys are, is useful. Okay, 
use every which every torture attack you got at these guys. So once they're gone, then it's just a Jean fight, and that's usually not too bad. Cool, okay. <laughs> I got him twice in a row. Just narrowly missed that uh wicked knee from Jean. Yeah, like, see what I mean? Oh my god, I was so close. Come on, just do your lightning bolt move. Come on. Come on, bro. You know, I've had enough of this guy. I'd rather not risk more damage. Awesome. So that's the end of verse 3. So what I'm going to do is, now that we don't... Now that we finish verse 3, I'm going to use equip Evil Harvest Rosary, and the reason for that is because this verse, from now on, Witch Time is entirely disabled, even if you get the proper Witch Time going off. So there's really no um, penalty in using it because you lose which time anyway, so... Oh shoot, where'd you come from? Alright, since there's only one angel left, I'm gonna take it off, just so that way we don't have someone to kill it.
Trumpet. Ooh, extra healing. That we didn't need. <laughs> Alright, so Trumpet's good. It's kind of like the bow and arrow. Can't pump these things. I hate armies, they're just so annoying. But we killed them. Alright, um... What do we have this way? Uh, let me see, what part are we on? Seven harmony, so we have a bunch of... Oh, uh, we have a bunch of... Hmm. Bunch of enchants, so we're gonna want to switch. What time do we have? Plenty of time still. Okay, yeah. Oh god. All. Keep your distance, taunt. Alright, so put the rosary on. Top myself off very quickly.
All right, awesome. <laughs> Eleven minutes. All right, grab this. Uh, so we got three beloveds on this next one. I have my phone up with all of like the thing on it. So, uh, actually, my what might be good is putting Scarborough Fair, so that way I can do just a bunch of splash damage. Thankfully, I. Keeping your distance so that way you can fire off all of the arrows. <laughs> Alright, so we got two Grace and Glory on the next stage. I'm trying to keep accurate track. Alright, I'm gonna switch back to. I'm not gonna do it for this fight, but the fight after has some flaming angels, so I'm just gonna do that preemptively before I forget. Now, I'm not quite sure what the purpose of... Not quite sure what the purpose of... Half of these shouldn't even be, like, hitting me. Oh man, I accidentally killed both. Okay, so I got a bunch of flaming angel snacks, but they're normal aim Normal angels, so that should be okay.
almost back to full health. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. However, oh, fortunately, when the bomb goes off, usually they get stunned. Sometimes they do. After this, we have some Braves and some Applaud. I'm not even gonna try. <sighs> uh, do I want the scythe or do I want the... Oh, what's coming up next? Too fearless in fairness. I'm gonna go with the folks. They're a little bit easier to take with the bow, I think. Alright, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> I'm not playing around. I want these guys dead. Oh crap, that was the wrong one! Oh my god, that was cool! Oh my god, that was way too close to comfort. Come on, buddy. Die for me, please. Thank you. <laughs> Whew, that was, ooh, that was so close how, like, the thing stunned me and then, like, the, 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 the stabby thing just barely <laughs> missed me. And then the fireball barely missed me. Oh my god, my heart. Alright. Uh, okay, what do we have next? We have two joys and John, so... Shedra and uh, Kilgar.
Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so stressful. Oh my god, my heart. Be still, my beating heart. Oh my god. Okay, so we're only four minutes in. <laughs> Hopefully my capture card hasn't had a stroke on any of these. I mean, it's been 20 minutes for each thing, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I should have switched to pull these butterflies so I took a little bit less damage, but it'll be fine. Uh, we have four. Okay, so we have a bunch of flaming angels, so... Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! Oh god, oh god. Okay, so we're good. Uh, I might need to actually pull in... Okay, you know what? We're gonna... I can, I can taunt off this guy. Um, I'm gonna take off the Rosary, because I want him to stay slow. So I want him, I don't want him to be able to... Yeah, I want to keep him at this kind of somewhat slow rate, so that way I can get... Whew, that was close though. <laughs> um, I don't think you, I think technically whenever you die, you... Ooh, that was way too close for comfort. I'm surprised that within didn't go off. But I'm pretty sure whenever you have no health, like you can't die with something in your HP bar, you have to have z zilch. So technically you have like a miracle effect sort of going on or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Thankfully I should be able to get pretty much full. Yeah, we're in the end game. This is where it gets hard. I mean, fortunately, once once we get most of our health back, I think the only reason why I did so poorly is because I was too focused on trying to get my health back that I really wasn't paying that close attention. So 
so yeah, we're back up to half health, so we should be fine, uh, for now at least. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, back up to like seventy five percent. surgery for now. Okay, we're back. We're back. We are back. Um... So, next we have some... Okay, 11 minutes, so we should be good. So next we have Golem, so I'm gonna switch Cool Shredder over to B. Alright. Oh my god, what the... Oh my god, seriously? I hate this stupid snake thing. Okay, that punch was stupid. I was, like, way out of the range of that. Alright, what do we have next? Okay, so we have... Okay, um... Alright, I'm just gonna taunt once, and then after that... Taunt with this guy. He's easy. I'm take off. Oh, 
he's easy enough to taunt off of, so hopefully we can get back up to half health. As I always say, try to get as much HP out of people as you can. Jump. Oh my god. Oh wait, I don't have the heart. I don't have the rosary on, that explains it. Just put it on, I'm gonna... Taunt and get my HP back! <laughs> okay, um, this is just starting to get scary. Okay, so we have two Glory and a Fearless and two sets of Brave. I'm gonna switch back to Cool Shadow, or not, to Durga. I don't know what I've been calling it the entire time. I don't think I've said Durga once this thing. I must be gone crazy.
<sighs> okay. <laughs> Durga makes the brave so easy. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, what do we have next? So we still want to stay Gar Durga because we have burning, burning people. Uh, yeah. Do I have uh, the rosary on? Okay, he's in angry mode. We're just gonna abuse this because, like, let's be real, like, this is weird to difficult not to. Amazing. Alright, coming up next we have Three Joys, which we should have plenty of time for. You know what, I'm... Since I can't use the star on it, I might as well kinda use Holy's Butterfly, so that way... turn off the pulley's butterfly, uh, put the Nita star back on. That went over surprisingly well. Alright, so we have more burning people. Alright. <laughs> We're getting into the end game. I'm surprised I actually make it, because usually, like, I'm gonna be real honest, that, like, Jean fight, like, the two Jean fight usually kicks my ass. So, I'm surprised I have done as well as I have. So... Can we stun him on? Yeah! Stun lock. Hell yeah. Come on. Come on! Just die. Just die. Just die. Max everything. I just do not want to do any damage. Alright. 
All right, so next up, I'm gonna actually put remove tomato star for right now. Um, yeah, two graciouses and two gloriouses. So for right now, actually, what I might do is I might do a cheat. I might, you know, I might honestly, I might do some cheese. I just want... I would rather deal with the fire guy because they're a little bit more easier to take out. Okay, uh... Put on the native star and I want to take off the harbor. On! again. Okay. okay, uh, this is by far the hardest fight coming up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, usually that battle goes way worse for me. Uh. 
<laughs> I'm literally shaking. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, um... I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, well, first of all, I should probably take off the stupid gauntlets. No, not that. Rosary. Oh my god, I only have three health bars. I can't do this. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, um, well, I can't really, uh, it would've been smart if I bought the Moon Malacon. Okay, um... <laughs> okay, um... <sighs> okay, well, I don't have the recommended weapons, so... Uh, da, da, da. I guess for right now, I might try this really weird strategy. <laughs> I don't know. I've never used. I don't really use Odette that much. Um. Uh. Oh my god, this is stressful. Okay, bro. I need one smidge of health. This is going to be a bad idea. Yep. Yeah. It's because the stupid camera didn't focus on- Okay, you know what? That was Angel Slayer. <laughs> Bayonetta's the final boss. That was the last battle. I can't do it. I'm not good enough, and it's just so long. So yeah, I got to the final fight! You know, that was better than I was hoping for! <laughs> and with that, that was the Bayonetta Let's Play. You know, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate the support. And, you know, watch one of my other Let's Plays. And with that, I'll see you guys later.